bought a batch of bagels for months at this point not since the year started not even i really don't know p
Is it just me or are these some pale looking bagels? I've seen so many pictures of those cute toasts and I'm like, that is... It's just a toast. Too much work. This is actually not as much effort as I expected it to be. I've been wanting to do a proper Sunday reset, deep clean the apartment type of thing for like... Since I moved in. Usually I'm so busy during the week that I'm like, okay, I'll get it done over the weekend. And then on the weekend, I want to relax. I want to hang out with friends. I don't want to clean the freaking place. And this is when you gotta get your priorities in check. My last apartment, I was really good about cleaning it the first year. And then I, the amount of cleaning I had to do at the end when I was moving out, there was like mold buildup in some places that was really not it. We're taking preventative measures this year, 2024. Cleaning is in. It was never out, but it's in for my lifestyle now. I really was gonna clean the kitchen, but but my friend invited me to dinner. She doesn't know that she's my excuse, but I, I'll get to the kitchen, I swear. Just not today.
One thing that I really wanted or more like needed to do this year was get an accountant. Doing all that by myself was a lot and there's a lot of legal and financial things that I'm just not knowledgeable about. Let me just save myself the stress, the time, the energy and do it the right way this year. Is someone scaling my wall? Hello? This morning I'm heading to the new Hapa Kristen store, which I think it's a new flagship in Melrose. They invited me to check out the store and some of their products before as like a soft launch. So that is what's on the agenda today. <laughs> bit of cream cheese because I don't have anything like heavy cream to make it creamier.
Da, da, da. I've never actually run this dishwasher since being here. The instructions said to run a load of heavy wash or the highest temperature wash, but then this also has a sanitized wash. That is water sanitized, yeah, but which one is it? For the salad dressing, I'm going to be using some Greek yogurt, olive oil, garlic powder, Dijon mustard, and lemon juice. I've been working on some new designs for a oh, high camera. I've been wanting to update the branding for a while now. If you've ordered from my shop within the last few months and not received a business card, that is because we ran out. Usually I'm on top of ordering the restocks for those, but I've been wanting to redesign them for a while. Now they're gonna be updated and I'm going to phase out the freebies. I know a lot of y'all really enjoyed those, but it just wasn't something that I was able to keep up with in terms of like making new ones and the extra costs were there as well. So instead of creating new freebie designs, I would rather focus on upgrading the packaging as a whole. Starting with rebranding the business cards, they're gonna be much bigger than the previous square ones, about 
this size, like an actual card. I also have designs for some custom mailers, custom boxes, custom packing tape. And I think that will make the packages still feel very special even if they do not contain a freebie. Ew. been a very pivotal month for me I think. January was a fast month coming back from the holidays, settling into the apartment and despite February being the shortest month on paper I felt like it was much longer. I moved offices, I met a lot of friends, I started journaling. I'm gonna have these monthly prompts up on my blog as a blog post. It's kind of in beta form or I don't know this blog is not supposed to be anything too serious. Just a place for me to put the recipes that I use, some fun things like journaling prompts. I think it'll be a cool way to build community there because you can leave comments on each post so like the recipes y'all know I'm like a home cook right? My recipes are not complicated. They're pretty fast. Easy meals for people living alone. They're not big portion sizes. We can share little tips and tricks I can learn from you guys. Just have our cute little corner on the internet. I think it'd be cool if we share our monthly journal reflections on that post as well, if you're into that. So yeah, I think I did a lot this month. A lot of it has been preparing for March and during my birth month. 
first things first, I'm actually picking up my brother from the airport in a few hours. He's coming to stay with me for his spring break. And then I'm working on the shop update. There's gonna be a spring shop update towards the end of the month. Not too many products, but a lot of restocking the sold out products. My birthday, and then I'm going to be traveling. Not gonna say where yet, but I'm gonna be keeping you updated on my Instagram throughout my travels before I get back and have time to edit all of it. And it's gonna be the start of spring. I feel like I did my spring cleaning early. I haven't been here too long, so the grime hasn't really had time to accumulate, thankfully. The timing just so happened to work out with my brother coming, so he's getting a clean apartment. I didn't plan on it for him. I wasn't gonna clean the place just for him, but you're welcome, bro. I should probably go get changed so i'm not late to picking my brother up i hope you had a wonderful february and if it didn't go according to plan or as you'd like we're getting a fresh start it's a new month it's going to be a new season i'm rooting for you for students who are just getting done with their midterms or they're working on their midterms right now i wish you the best of luck and hope you can catch up on sleep after it's all over <laughs> take care friend